Hi, my name's Lauren Churin and I'm an executive health coach. I support women to maintain their optimal health throughout their entire adult life. I also partner with corporate organisations to provide solutions so that they can support their women experiencing challenges resulting from hormonal imbalances, from all things menstruation through menopause. Throughout my life, I've had a couple of experiences that have caused me to consider how our mind and body and our performance are connected. I've noticed this both in myself and in others. For example, waking up at 21 on the day of a significant judo team selection, unable to move from my neck down. Or at 37 when I was six months pregnant being offered a termination and then again in my early 40s when I left my job thinking I had early onset dementia. Imagine my surprise when I discovered it was just menopause. I've noticed myself and others who I've lived and worked with, changes and at various times and stages of their life, sometimes cyclical and other times just sporadic. All of this has led me to dig deep into what might be behind this. In women, and by this I mean all people born with a womb, we are at the mercy of our hormonal fluctuations. The key hormones, oestrogen, and progesterone play significant roles on many of our body functions. In turn, this can impact how we feel, our behaviour and ultimately our performance. The great news is that the more we learn about how our bodies work, the better we can embrace these fluctuations and live our absolute best life. When we learn the effects of mindset, nutrition, our friendship groups, the movement we may take each day, our exercise, our hydration levels and having the right support around us, we can really start to work and flow with our bodies. Often in times of need or curiosity, we can turn to Dr. Google. We can also find that quite confusing and get conflicting information, not knowing what to do or what advice to follow. That's why today I'd like to share some of these findings and three decades of research and practical implementation on myself and countless clients across the globe. I'd like to share the key tips, information, and impart the impact of our day-to-day -day choices and how these can have a significant impact on our health and our well-being. So today, I would like to share seven top tips. When we think about women's life stages and life cycles, they're fairly predictable. We know we're going to go through menstrual cycles these are driven by the rise and fall of oestrogen and progesterone every single month. Month will vary from woman to woman. We may have fertility challenges or experience pregnancy or miscarriage. And ultimately, if you'll be the lucky ones who live so long, we will want to successfully navigate our menopausal journey. What is important to know is that naturally we will feel, look and behave differently depending on the hormonal fluctuations we're experiencing. Learning what the levers are that we can control helps us make sure we live our optimal life. I personally always love to start working with mindset. When we recognise that our brain's most primitive function is to keep us safe, alive and to repeat tomorrow what we did today, we can begin to understand why habit change can be so challenging. So learning how to embrace a positive mindset is key. We're sadly predispositioned to have more negative than positive thoughts every single day. So understanding that our primitive brain is there to keep us safe and our thinking brain can override it is a great starting point to be able to control your mindset. Clearly, it can take some work and it can be done with a bit of practice. Using our thinking brain just to step back, take stock, and think about the thoughts, feelings and actions that we might have in relation to the circumstances that we find ourselves in can help us make conscious decisions about what our responses to our circumstances are. That creates choice that enables us to change the habits that we've created over a lifetime. So thinking about our mindset is really important to how we manage each and every stage of our life. The second thing that I'm keen to make sure that I work with with my clients is hydration. When we consider that 60 to 70% of our bodies are water, depending on our age and hormonal fluctuations, 
it's important that at all times we remain well hydrated. We can tell fairly simply if we're hydrated by checking the colour of our urine. If we're running pale yellow or clear, then we're probably doing okay. Unless, of course, we're taking medications or eating foods that will change the colour of our wee, a bit like beetroot, for example. Next, think about movement, aka exercise. When your hormone levels are changing, it's important to understand where you're at in your cycle, where you're at in your pregnancy or your menopause. Because at different times and different stages, we know that different types of exercise are going to benefit us more. For example, when we get to the third trimester of pregnancy, clearly we wouldn't be doing any heavy strength training or lifting or doing new exercises that we hadn't done before that our bodies weren't used to. Because we know that our ligaments are more lax and we wouldn't want to overstress them. When our hormone levels are fluctuating severely during our peri to postmenopause transition, again, we need to think and listen to our bodies because how we rest and recover is going to change and it's going to be different from what we've done in our earlier years. During menopause, for example, we want to do more impact exercise to protect our bones, weight-bearing exercises to continue to build our muscles at a time when, sadly, bone and muscle integrity naturally declines. From years of working with my clients, I know that the other key thing in our life is our relationships. They're so important. We're the sum of the five people that we spend the most time with. So choose carefully. If you're choosing to be around people who are positive, then this is obviously going to have a great impact on you. At midlife, we often get consumed by looking after everything and everybody else. So often looking out for number one is the last thing on our list, but it's really important to our wellbeing. Being around people who are achieving the things that you aspire to can really help you take that one step forward. Equally, we know that sharing what you're going through, what you're experiencing in life, can have a huge impact on your mental health, help prevent feelings of isolation. We know that a problem shared is the first step to a problem halved. Next stop, self-care. Self-care is so important. You know that when you're going through your monthly cycle, for example, there are times of the month where it might be feeling more reflective or analytical. There are times when you're going to want to do more practical activities. There are going to be times when you want to be around people and perhaps when you want to have some more alone time. In order to set yourself up for success, it's important that you carve out time for you every single day at all stages of your life. Give yourself a chance to recognise where you're at in your cycle or your fertility or your menopause. Looking after yourself, after all, who else is going to do it, is an activity that can help you just get out of your fight and flight stress response into that calm, rested, digested state where you can make better decisions, you're more creative and feeling calm is key. You can't be in both at the same time. Sleep. Sleep is key, critical. When we're going through significant hormonal shifts, it's perfectly normal for sleep to be disturbed. Learning how to foster a great nighttime routine and setting yourself up for the best possible night's rest is so important. A good morning and evening routine is worth the investment of time. You will reap the rewards, increase focus, higher energy levels, and an all round better sense of well-being. Spending a few moments each day to set ourselves up for success is so critical. I know that my clients find it very helpful to just spend two minutes in the morning to download all the thoughts in their mind at the start of each day, just two minutes, so that they can structure what's going on in their heads and then prioritise what they're going to invest their energy in. That can save rework, procrastination and overwhelm. Equally, it's important to have a power down hour in the evening to work, reflect on the day, acknowledge what's going well and express your gratitude. If you're feeling particularly stressed, having a moment just to do a breathing exercise, breathing in and out consciously, for even two minutes can really help you restore calm. Perhaps journaling or mindfulness, maybe meditation is your thing. Recognising that you're the master or mistress of your own body that you have the choice and taking responsibility for your experiences as part of the basic building blocks to your overall health. 
Tap into your intuition, your gut. Trust yourself to know what's right for you. When you begin to trust yourself, you will know when to reach out and ask for help and support from family, friends, your employer, or maybe even your medical team. Too often clients come to me when they've reached a crisis point. As women, we can often soldier on thinking it's a badge of honour to suffer in silence, and it's not. It's a sign of strength to ask for help and support early. We wouldn't stand by and witness a loved one in any sort of pain. So why do we allow ourselves to suffer? I believe we have to look at ourselves as a complete human. We must look after all aspects of ourselves and not treat things in isolation. We need to be aware of the daily choices we make, our mindset, hydration, who we interact with, the way we move our bodies, the foods we eat, how we set ourselves up for success for the day ahead and a good night's rest. All of these things influence how we think and behave and ultimately impact our performance. There's nothing I love more than witnessing a client harness their inner power, boost their vitality, increase their influence at home, work and beyond and step fully into their personal power. Thank you for listening. My name is Lauren Turin. I'm an executive health coach and I support women to be in their optimal health throughout their entire adult life. And partner with corporate organisations to provide solutions for women experiencing challenges resulting from hormonal imbalances from all things menstruation to menopause.